هرش هر Hey, look out, Cat Lucky. What are you trying to do? Knock me off from here? I'll be doing the community a favor. Hey, uh, you young squirt. Pretty, ain't they? Hey, don't do that. Hello, Lucky. Hello. What lovely flowers. Yeah, I, I brought them for you. Well, thank you. Aren't they pretty windy? Don't do that. Hey, what's the fracas about them? Who won? They're not fighting. The silly old coots always upsetting things. Oh, it's that green bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Hoppy, my hay fever's got me down again. Spring fever, he means. Look at that sign. Doing a good job, I call it. Eh? It's like something the cat dragged in. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> hey, you better take something for that. You're going to drown somebody. Yeah, I aim to. <laughs> Are you hurt much? Well, what do you think? Where? Well, now, well, that's kind of a personal question. Well, I reckon he's hurt the most where he hit the hardest. Yeah, right where he fits in the saddle. <laughs> oh, you fellas ain't got no delicacy at all. Hey, look out for them big words, Lucky. If you don't, they'll snap right back and throw you. <laughs> Windy? What's in that jug? Why, it's medicine. Yeah, that's what it is, spring medicine. You see, every spring I get a powerful itch in the feet. For some reason or other, I just gotta go somewhere. So I, uh, I... Kind of take a little less, you know, to get it out of my system. You know what happens to anybody Uncle Buck catches with liquor on this ranch. Boy, that ain't liquor. Here, smell it. Here, you taste it. <laughs> Sulfur molasses. See? So you told the truth for once. Why, I never told a lie in my whole life. Did I, Hoppy? Yeah. Well, maybe once. Come on, Lucky. I'll give you some arnica to rub on you where you fell. Looks to me like Buck's niece has got a rope on Lucky he ain't gonna be able to get rid of. Hand <laughs> it over. Oh, Hoppy, there's a little mite of goat's milk in it to make the medicine work. I just wanted to see if Lucky was lying to save your hide. <laughs> oh, you great kid. <laughs> I still remember a night in September when I first kissed you, sweetheart. I can't forget. You glad it's too happy? Got what? Bring fever? No. I'm just thinking about what happened over back in them black buttes last spring. About this time. Remember? I ain't likely to forget that stampede. Two hundred head of Bar 20 cattle lost in them blind canyons. Yeah, and three of the Bar 20's best riders trampled into something that didn't even look human. Yeah. That stampede wasn't an accident. It was murder, Wendy. Plenty back of them black dudes to stand looking into. Yeah, but you got something else on your mind. Ain't you thinking of that good-looking Nori Blake? That lady that homesteaded over in Grass Valley a couple years ago? Eh? Well, maybe a little. And it's your age, too. Well, it's just that I don't like to think of any lady living in a place where there's nothing but rattlesnakes and rustlers. And Say, you got it bad. You better take a swig of this. Come on. Hoppy, I've got a tough job for you. 
All right, name it. I got an order for a thousand head of stock. <laughs> What's up top about that? The herd's got to be delivered at Fort Hastings within 10 days. Well, I don't think it can be done, Buck. It's got to be done. I need the cash. Now, you can cut out the fat stock in two days. But that won't give us time to make the ride to Fort Hastings. You'll have to take the shortcut over the Black Butte Trail. Those buttes are a wrestler's nest. Remember that last trip over there? The Black Butte Trail? Yeah, that means trouble. Why can't we take him a southern route? You've got to make the contract date. Railroad won't hold the cars. Now, Hoppy, I don't like this any more than you do. But I'm up again a brick wall. I reckon that's going to put you up again the buttes. I need that chunk of dinero. Well, we'll make it somehow, Buck. All right, boys, come on. We got some wrangling to do. Can I go, Uncle Buck? Can you go where, Roddy? I've never ridden herd on trail. Certainly not. I came all the way here from Kansas City for my vacation, and you and everybody else treat me like I was a kid. You don't think you're a man yet, do you, Archibald? Oh, shut up, sis. <laughs> Just because you got a man so lucky, you think he's the only one around here can do anything. You ride trail? Why, if one of those rustlers laid an eye on you, he'd skin you alive. Is that so? Just show me one of them. I'll give him this. Well, sure as shooting, you'll be the death of me yet, Archibald. How can a feller get any play in this world with a name like Archibald? <laughs> hey, Wendy, how do you do that? Do what? Oh, that, that's spinning with your gun. No, go away. You don't bother me. Oh, come on. Everybody's teasing me. Oh, you're the dirtiest pest I ever seen in all my life. Now keep your eyes open. Ah, now go ahead and do it. Hey, you, Kino. Well? well? So you've been hitting the old red eye again. Oh, uh, what's it to you, handsome? Poppy wants to see you pronto. Mr. Cassidy wants to see me so bad, why don't he come after me himself? Well, I'm just telling you what he said. I suppose you're going back and tell him what you just saw. I'm no stool pigeon, Kino. You're always snooping around trying to find out something so you can carry it back to that slave driver. You're getting yourself set pretty, ain't you, Lucky? Playing up to Buck Peters' knees, singing her love songs. You'd better pull in your horns. Why don't you make me? I would, except Hoppy needs every man he's got. I didn't join up the bar 20 to fight no wars for 40 pesos a month. And I don't ride herd on the Black Butte Trail. Kino, you came here with a pretty tough breath. You asked Hoppy for a chance, and he gave it to you. Now you show your stuff while laying down on him. You're just plum yellow, Kino. I should have really let you have a Kino. I ain't got no fight with you, Cassidy. You got no fight with anybody, so long as you can hit like a sidewinder. When you're talking to a guy like this, never turn your back, Lucky. Go on back to your work. You go to Buck Peters and get your time. If I catch you on the Bar 20 Ranch an hour from now, I'll come after you smoking. 
And Kino. If I was you, I'd ride east. You hear me? Yeah. You said ride east. according to who you are. You're the one who's answering. What you want? I want to see the chief. What for? Him and me's got a deal on. The chief ain't in the buttes. Who winged you? Oh, had to run in with the foreman of the bar 20. You had a fracas with Hopalong Cassidy? Yeah. And you're here to tell it? Yeah. <laughs> Loose talk. Well, being the chief ain't in these parts, I'll get to ride. Not that away. Hit your kingus into that draw. <laughs> we aim to be right hospitable like and entertain you till the chief gets back. As long as you got a deal on with him, he wouldn't like it if we let you go. Sammy? Yeah. Come on. you have there. Yeah, the bar 20 raises nothing but the best. Taking them to market? Breaking trail at dawn tomorrow. Oh, one of my horses cast a shoe. Oh, that's too bad. Say, drive up the ranch here and ask for Wendy. He'll be glad to put it on for you. Thanks very much. He got something there, Artie. <laughs> Say, Wendy, how about you asking Hoppy to ask Uncle Buck if I can go on that trail drive tomorrow? Oh, you better stay home. You know, we gotta have somebody take care of the ranch. Oh. Where can I find Wendy? What's trouble? My arm passed through this shoe. Can you fix it for me? Of course, I'll be glad to pay you for it. Oh, sure. <laughs> Bar 20 never charges a stranger or anything for a little thing like that. Wait till I get some nails. Been driving long? Yes. Where are you going? Oh, west. And you don't even carry a gun? <laughs> no. Say, mister, you're sure not liable to live long. Dear me, why? Well, those buttes are just full of bad hombres, and they just as soon as you choose look at you. Oh, you alarm me. We're riding that way tomorrow, and you bet your boots we'll be armed to the teeth. We'll be ready for them if they make one false move. Oh, heck. A noble effort, my little man. Only you seem to be as awkward with firearms as I'm afraid of them. Yeah. What are you doing? You mind if I ask you the same question, mister? This gentleman has an insatiable curiosity regarding my property. I thought I'd teach him a little lesson. Oh, I'm Professor Hepburn. I'm visiting my sister, Nora Blake, over in Grass Valley. Oh, Nora Blake. Oh, I'm Cassidy, Hopalong Cassidy. Glad to know you, Professor. Uh, she's spoken of you often. 
Well, it must be kind of lonesome over there around the buttes, ain't it? On the contrary. You see, I'm a paleontologist. A, a what? A scientist, a naturalist, an explorer. In other words, I'm a bone digger. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing some research for an Eastern Museum. I hope to prove to the scientific world the buttes, the natural habitat of the extinct dinosaur, another prehistoric fauna. You don't say. Yes, indeed. I'm finding quite a boneyard, a place of desolation, where any creature might die and remain undisturbed, undiscovered for a million years. A perfect paradise for my purpose. Uh, well, I, I guess the buttes is a kind of a boneyard, all right. And say, if you find any bones or hides of the Bar 20 stock, I wish you'd let me know. <laughs> All right, here, Professor. Thanks. I, I hope you'll forgive any embarrassment I caused. Uh, maybe, but I won't forget it. <laughs> I aim to ride over to Grass Valley and see how Nora's getting on. You know, homesteading's quite a job for a lady to take on. My sister will be glad to know what an interest you take in her welfare. Well, goodbye. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. I never saw none of them dinosaur snorters as he's aiming to hunt. He sure goes after him with heavy caliber ammunition. What do you mean? You see what he's got in the wagon? What? Dynamite. Oh, well, folks uh, homesteading, you know, they, they need dynamite. They might want to blow up some uh, stumps or something. Hoppy, I never thought I'd see the day that you'd let a good-looking woman uh, 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 Just a minute. Well, I hope his horses run away with him and blow him up. <laughs> Dinah snorter. Oh. This hombre chief says he's got some kind of a deal on with you. What do you want, Kino? The bar 20's pushing a big herd by here tomorrow. And I'm here to collect that money as you promised me if I tipped you off. You're late with the news. I found out for myself. Listen, I kept my part of the deal and I want my money. You got nothing coming to you. After me quitting my job and taking a chance of coming here? That's your misfortune. Then I'll show you I'll meet Cassidy and tell him what he's up against. Hold on. Give me your rifle. Nice shot, Chief. Hmm. A trifle heavy for squad shooting. All right, boys, get the top off. And then carry it all up the hill. Say, what about Kino? No, oh, leave him there. Cassidy will find him. And if he does, what then? Always get your opponent in the jumpy frame of mind, you have a psychological advantage over him. You know, Blackie, nature has a peculiar way of preserving a biological balance. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Chief. Ornithology is a most interesting study. Take that buzzard, for instance. There's a useful institution. What better coffin could any man desire than one which flies? Blackie, did you ever wish you had wings? Say, I ain't aiming to ride no clouds nor, nor twang no harp. Don't worry, Blackie, you never will. Clem, try this wagon over to Grass Valley. All right. And explain to my sister that I've gone around hunting some fossil specimens. And hurry up back here. Get out of here. Say, fellas, 
You all know what happened on the Blackview Trail last year. Well, if any of you fellas want to back out, now's the time to do it. What do you think we are, Lucky? We'll take care of it. We're all with Hoppy. Hoppy says be sure that all your guns are in working condition, just in case we need them. Mind your line up. Here's an order in the Cattlemen's Association for that cash. Buck, that's quite a piece of change. Think I better put the money in the bank and bring back a check? To my loco. After that fly-by-night bank folded up with me last year? I reckon, though, you better come back by the southern route. All right. So long, Buck. Good luck, Hoppy. Bye, kid. Try and get the herd past the buttes before dark. All right. Can I go, Uncle Buck? Haven't I got enough to worry me? Go away. Let's go, Lucky. The buttes have always been bad luck to the bar 20. Be careful, won't you, Lucky? All right, boys, get started. Come on, Lucky. You wanted to go so badly. Here much before sundown. Start planning it there. Come on, boys, hurry up. When it goes off, it'll stampede that herd and we'll be able to rustle them. We'll give Mr. Casty a welcome to Black Butte that'll justify his nickname of Topple Long. you gone, son, but there's too much danger. Danger? That's why I want to go. You didn't think of danger when you came out here 50 years ago. Why couldn't I have been born then? You had all the fun. So you think it was fun? If you had it all to do over again, what would you do? <laughs> well, I reckon you got me there, Artie. Can I go? Oh, it's too late. I got my pony already in saddle, and I can catch a mile before they reach the butte. Now, listen here. If you're going to take a man's place, you're going to have to do a man's work. I will. Well, your gun, your belt and holster are lying right where you left them. Oh, boy. Well, I guess he had to learn sometime. I reckon it's in his blood.
pushing them steers pretty high, they did. Yeah, but I hope they don't take a notion to turn them into one of them canyons for water. Poppy, something's happened. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I told him to ride east. Plugged right through the back. Probably never known what happened. He did. One of you boys take care of him. The rest of you better get started. It's gonna be dark soon. Now keep your eyes peeled on them buttes and don't let the herd break that way. Now get in the chuck wagon here with Wendy. Wendy, pull into the foot of that cliff. We'll chow there tonight. Ah, get out. We'll have you out in just a minute. Get his feet, Lucky. 
see if there's some water in the wagon. Out there grazing. Harvey, Harvey, come here. Hey, look at that. Huh. What do you think of your dandy snorters fella now, huh? to find out. Come on. There we go. Where's the herd? The boys are holding them about six miles south of the Buttes. That is what's left of them. How many missing? About 200 head near as we could tally. How about the men? Oh, a few sprained wishbones. We didn't have no chance to make our fight. Ride back and get the herd moving south. But, Hoppy, aren't you gonna fight to get our stolen cattle back? No. Say, it ain't like you, Hoppy. Just like what happened last year, Huppy. Only it'll never happen again. Oh, Lucky. You know, Arthur can't be moved. So you make a camp and look out for him here. Yeah? Lucky, from now on, you're in charge of the herd. I want you to roll them into Fort Hastings. Here's the cash order. You'll be paid for the number of steers you deliver. I want you to listen close. I want you to get the cash and ride back this way at exactly 12 noon, eight days from now. No sooner and no later. Now, you got that? It's a week from tomorrow. That's right. You won't let me down, will you, kid? Bye, Everett. No. So long. Bye, Hoppy. Very up, son. In my business, what are you aiming to do? Wendy, when you go after big fish, you've got to use live bait. I'm going fishing. And lucky is my bait. That's just as plain as a Chinese laundry ticket. You can just get them rustlers down out of the buttes. Out here into the open, that's all I want. I think I've figured out a way to do it. You better throw up a few rocks there for protection. I got you. And if you're right about Nora Blake, a woman that plays a man's game had to take a man's chances. So long. So long, Harvey. Whoa there, Archibald. You're supposed to be sick. I'm hungry. Hungry? <laughs> Don't go on to find you free, you're going to get well.
Howdy, Nora. Well, if it isn't hop along, Cassidy. Say, who's your boyfriend there in the window? Boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Horace has the funniest sense of humor. You see, that's my brother's laboratory now. Oh. <laughs> Come on inside. Fine. I must have known you were coming. Yeah? Look. Oh, donuts. My favorite dish. I'm good, too. <laughs> so, you know, that thing out there kind of scared me. Well, when you meet Horace, you'll understand. I have met him. Oh, well, he didn't tell me. But then he's so absent-minded sometimes. Well, I'd like to know him better. Well, come on, then. Just a minute. All right. <laughs> What? Huh? Oh, hello. Mr. Cassidy is interested in your work, Horace. I just made the most astounding anthropological discovery, Mr. Cassidy. You see, there's a missing link in the human group between the Paleolithic and Neolithic ages, the intermediary between the flat skull and the round type. You don't tell me. We have here the cornered cranial structure, so long sought by science. Oh, you mean, uh, kind of a square head, huh? Say, I think I know this fella. Well, now, careful. You're liable to destroy a priceless specimen. Yes, sir, that's him, all right. A fella named Anthony. He was a rustler. The boys from the Bar 20 captured him red-handed up on Thunder Mesa. See, that's where they parted his hair with a 45. No, you must be mistaken. Oh, no, I'm not. Just a minute here. There's the slug. Say, when you get ready to put this fellow in the museum, just label him as a sample of what happens to people that can't keep their running irons off of bar 20 stock. I should have made such a mistake. Oh, we all make mistakes. But some of us don't make them twice. I can't understand it. Say, did you come here to visit me or Horace? <laughs> Where's your shadow? Huh? He's always at your heels. Oh, Wendy. Oh, he's got hay fever. I left him over in the bar 20. Man, Artie, how you feeling? Pretty good. <laughs> You get take it easy and I'll go get a little fresh water. No, thanks. Oh, have another. Oh, all right. You haven't your usual appetite. No. <laughs> And how's Lucky? Oh, I was going to tell you about Lucky. We were all... What's that? My brand. I just had it registered with the Cattlemen's Association. The triangle is the shape of my little valley. The double B is for the black buttes that surround it. But you were going to tell me about Lucky. Why, what's the matter, Huffy? Nora, I sent Lucky to Fort Hastings with a big bunch of stock. I'm going to meet him at the Buttes when he arrives back with the money. That will be several thousand dollars. Yeah. But do you think it's safe to allow Lucky? I trust Lucky. Well, then I'm to have your company until Lucky returns? Well, unless you throw me out. Mr. Cassidy, consider yourself my prisoner. And I couldn't ask for a prettier jailer. <laughs>
Hastings. Check out a man named Lucky. Find him be riding back this way with money and when. Burn another back and report. We done a good job of blocking, Chief. In two weeks you never know, but Bar 20 had always been playing on double B. Hepburn's got them steers bottled up in Satan's Canyon. They're blotting the Bar 20 brand to Triangle BB. Sent a fella to Fort Hastings to check on Lucky. It's just what I figured. Now we can get that gang down out of the buttes into the open here and have an open fight. Now, one heart is well enough to be left alone. You hot foot it back to the Bar 20. Have Buck and the boys back here when Lucky makes his ride by. Oh, beat him. Keep under cover and don't let anybody see you. Get up! to me, Hopalong. Why did you tell me Wendy was back at Bar 20? Because rustlers are raiding the Bar 20 stock. And they're using your brand to cover their tracks. Then I'm under suspicion? I'm in the buttes to find the guilty parties. I'm afraid you'll have to prove what you say, Mr. Cassidy. I aim to. And Wendy is part of my plan. leave you now, son. But it sure knocks Hoppy's plan higher in a kite. You know, you've been here a week today and you haven't proven anything to me yet. There's one now. There's the old Bar 20 brand. You see how they've changed it over to the Triangle Double B? I'm sorry I doubted you, Hoppy. It's all right, Nora. My men must have known about this. I'll fire every last one of them. Oh, no, don't do that. Lucky and Wendy carried out my orders. I'm going to make my play today. I've been a lot of bother to you, haven't I? Bother? Sure. That's all right. Just as long as you're still in the ring. <laughs> Who 
looks like trouble, and the odds are against us. Now listen, Sonny. You and me have got to make just the best fight we can. Because I kept you from going after Uncle Buck, didn't I? Boy, you couldn't help it. Just saying, I wish Hoppy was here. Lucky to be riding along here any minute. Get me a drink, will you? Sure. some specimens east of the museum, uh, taking them to the railroad at Fort Hastings. Oh. There's an interesting one. Well, better be going. Well, take care of yourself, Horace. Now, if I'm not back in a few days, don't you worry about me. Bye. Bye. You certainly had me worried. I mean about Horace. I was afraid you suspected him. Him? Brother's a big man. He has more important things to think about in the world than rustling cattle. Here comes dirt. Far twenty fellas coming to the money. Catch him when he rides by the buttes. Knock your rifle. Give me a rifle. Cassidy. Nora, look up toward the pass. See anything? No. Whoever took that pot shot at me wasn't fooling. I didn't miss far. Now's the time for me to make my play. Goodbye, Nora. Did you mean it just now when you kissed me? Come back sometime in south. I aim to. Goodbye, Hoppy. Goodbye, Nora. The rest of you come with me. Yeah.
Shorty. Where's Hoppy? Well, Hoppy stopped over at the Buttes. What for? We don't know. Where's the money? Lucky's got it. Where's Lucky? Where's Artie? Sorry, Buck. We got in a little trouble over at the Buttes. And Artie got mussed up a little. Uncle Buck, look! Uncle Buck, it, it, trouble at the Buttes. Got to ride fast. Up he needs it. Get my horse. Saddle up, boys. Boys, if Hoppy's got that Black Butte gang in the open, we've a long score to settle. We'll never call you Archibald again, Artie. All right, boys. Let's go. Come on. Shoot in the back. Come on. Now we are in a fine spot. You got the money? Good. Why didn't you get here on time? Now you made me bust my hair loom. Your what? My grandpa's watch. You better save your breath. You might need it later. Why didn't you shoot Cassidy when you had a chance? I couldn't plug him in the back. All right, get down there and charge that ball. Here they come.
Well, Buck, looks like the trouble with the Black Buttes is finished. I reckon so. Poor devil. I hope Nora never finds out. Aren't it happy you're in love? Maybe you're right. Me too. Yeah, it just must be springtime. You know, fellas will ever get that way when the posies begin to bloom. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>